Hallelujah. Come on, make some noise up in here. Yes. This is the day that the Lord has made, and what are we going to do? Yes. Hallelujah. He said if two or three gather together in his name, he's what? He's here. He's here. We met the requirement. Lord, you are welcome. Come on in, Facebook family and friends. In this place, Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Get 
forget about yourself. We're going to do what? Concentrate on the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He's fixing it for you right now. Worship Him. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Worship him just for a few moments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. We adore you. We love you. You are the lover of our soul. Lord, we don't put anything in front of you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Omnipotent God. Omniscient. All loving God. All present God. I'm the present. Hallelujah. I'm a miraculous healer. Lord, you're the one that works miracle. Lord, yeah, my Allah. You help us to walk in a perfect timing that you have for our life. Worship him. Wonderful counselor. Oh, Lord. Ruler of the nations. Lord, you bigger than any mountain. You bigger than any calamity. You bigger, you bigger, you bigger. Oh Lord, you great, you greatly to be praised. Hey, Lord, we focus on you. We worship you. Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Put those safety fat hands together. Come on, Drake Bell Rock. And you'll get a prayer and the scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on now. Do we got some saints up in the house? Yeah. Praise the Lord on today's everybody. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for life, help, and strength. We thank you for just waking us up this morning. We thank you for all that you do. We thank you for being the light yes, in the dark now. tunnel, Lord. Just continue to bless and keep Jesus. everyone in church today, Lord. Bring your presence on us, Lord, bigger than you ever brought before, Lord. Continue to keep us from day to day. Yes. Bless us from day to day, Lord. Lord. Lord, pour down your blessings on us bigger than we can receive, Lord. Jesus. We thank you for what you're about to do in this service, Lord. Yes. And we don't take your blessings for granted. In your almighty name, we come together and we pray. We thank you, Father, for your blessings. We thank you for everything that you do. And we love you, Lord. Every time so touch everybody in service. Everybody. Give us yes, special blessings. Jesus. You know. In Jesus' almighty name I pray. Amen. Oh, amen. Stay up there, my brother. Oh, get me to rock the hand. We rocking and rolling for Jesus. Come on, get a, a scripture. The we... scripture for today is John 3, 16. For, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believed in him should not be yes. perished, but have amen. everlasting life. Amen. Wait, we have the welcome song. You might, you might as well stay up here. We're going to do the welcome song. And then we're going to, of course, we're, we're going to welcome the ones online too. But then we're going to get to praise and the worship. Amen. Amen. We welcome you. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Hey man, let's go. Go on. See who's online. 
Hallelujah. Let's see. We have Angel Gamble. God bless you, Prophet Angel. We have Sheila Washington. Sheila, God bless you. We have Jason Ramsey. God bless you, Pastor Jason Ramsey. Amen. Those are, uh, of course, Prophet Angel, my uh, wonderful spiritual daughter. Sheila's my sister in the Lord, my covenant sister in the Lord. Pastor Ra- uh, Jason Ramsey is my brother in the Lord. But these are all VIP. <laughs> about very what? Intense praise. Well, let's go on with further with this service. We have a good time already. Get, you got your, your song, Chief? Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, we're for a little, a little drum beat. Pastor Ramsey is giving us toward our drum fun. Amen. But let's do a little drum beat with the, oh, you know what? I just remember I turned the keyboard around. So I don't have to get up to do it. Amen. Amen and amen. Let's see, let's see the temple. We're going to put it on. Oh, it should be fast. When the Spirit is
celebrate Jesus, celebrate. <laughs> Kept us all week, yeah. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate. Keeping us right now, yeah. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate. Hey! Celebrate Jesus, celebrate. And you know what? Keep going, Drake. He turned us to Celebrate Jesus, celebrate. Jesus. 
Even when we don't know that you work, he's working for you, my brother. He never stops. Never stops. Never stops working. Somebody, this is for you today. You may not find your little bull shot. Feel that he's working, but he's working. You keep quoting his word. You keep standing firm on the word of God. You keep honoring him. You keep praising him. He never stopped working. He never stopped working. He never stopped working. Amen. 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 And amen. Yeah, we are definitely... Um, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, listen, I'm going to call the ones that have already given. Amen. We are excited. Glory to the Lamb that was slain. You know what, Dre? I'm going to sing one more song, and I need you to get go in the office and get the bucket here. And this envelope's right there on that cabinet. Come up. Wait. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is station identification. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say station identification. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bring the bucket and the envelopes. Amen. Woo, I tell you, this is a good service. You know, and we are just... Uh, Faithful to the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do one more uh, song. Amen. While we, he's getting an offering and we're going to give our offering. I got a good word for you today. A very good word. He is. I'll do a little bit more of that. He You may be one worship away. You may be one thank you, Jesus, away from your biggest breakthrough. We worship you. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more time. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light of darkness, my God. That is who you are. Amen. 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 And I'm going to see once again the ones that's online. Amen. God bless Evander Sarah Bell is watching. Pops Angel, Pastor Jason Ramsey, Sheila Washington. Amen. See those hugs, prophetess. Amen. See all those stars. God bless Pastor Ryan. Todd for stopping by. We are elated. William Bub Bradley, thank you for stopping by. Amen and amen. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to bring up your tithes and your offerings. Amen. Hey, Dre, you on the bucket. I'm sure you've had Sarah's on the way. Yes, sorry. Amen. Yes. And we'll uh we'll let her know. Amen. Because she'll still do the uh tithes and offering. Uh come on in. You know, the Bible said 10% of what we make is not ours. And it's a hard thing. Some people say they really don't have it. Trust me, God understands. Amen. He understands. But it's a heart, heart thing. Not hard, but it's in the heart. If you say, Lord, I desire to give, God will make a way for you to give. And then you say, Lord, I want to get to grow to give my 10%. And just think, that's a pretty good deal. If you make $500, he's only asking for 50 You make 100 he's only asking for 10 And the rest, you know, the 90% is yours. Amen. But when you give unto God's work, he gave two promises. 
when you give your tithes, he said, number one, he will rebuke the devourer and he will open the windows of heaven, pour you out blessings. You won't have room enough to receive. So thank you today for the giving. Sheila Washington, thank you. She sent her prophetess angel. Thank you for sending your uh, tithes and offerings in. Thank you, Jessica Jennings. Jessica Jennings, God bless you. Multiply this uh, generosity. And I'm not going to ask you all to do anything that I'm not doing. Amen? I have mine. I give, of course, uh, beyond 10%. And I said, because I had to grow to that. Amen? Amen. Not trying to brag. But you get to the place where it's no longer 10%. But look, get to that 10%. Amen? So I have mine. Hallelujah. How, and Antonio sent his in. Amen. So we are we're thankful for Antonio. Send his tithe and his offerings in. Amen and amen. You know, and God took us to this level. And guess what he did? Let me write here. So he cast out here. He gave us, he gave us egos to help us out. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So told you sent his today. So we're going to bless. Hold your offering up. Hold yours. Well, you can hold yours up, Dre. I say I have given. It's given back to me. Good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. Running over. Lord, you will cause men and women, boys and girls, get back to my bosom. I have an abundance and no lack. For my God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. And take your rifles out. Never be broke. Ooh, you got some devil stomping shoes. On. Ooh, I can't wait till we get cameras that can show everything. Child, you, you should never, ever. That's a, a that's those shoes. Ooh, I wish y'all could see. Now, maybe you can't. Those shoes are breaking the back of Polly's shoes. <laughs> They all curled up at the top. Those are too sharp, Dre. Let's stop again. You know, you're going to stop for me, too. That'd be broke. That'd be broke another day of my life. Woo! I'm going to take one of those stops. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because my God supplies all my need according to his riches. In glory by Christ Jesus. You know, we bless our bodies. That's important. God wants you to be healthy. He wants you to feel good. He wants you to be healthy in your mind. God's not giving the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. He don't want, he wants you to be anxiety free, depression free, free, oppression free. I don't know why I said that. Amen. Multi-personality free. And I know these things are real. And do what you need to do, you know, while you're on this earth. But God wants you to be healthy, youthful. Amen. Full of vitality. Not all sluggish and slow. <laughs> okay. And I'm not talking, I'm talking about slow, you know, you're walking. <laughs> God will give you some energy. Amen. I'm Sarah Jr. <laughs> okay, so uh, we said our confession. God bless you, Sheila Washington. God bless you, Prophetess Angel. God bless you, Jessica Jennings. God bless Pastor Darlene. God bless you, Dave Bell Rock. God bless Tony O'Bell. And we pray twice for the what? Overflow. Uh, not just enough. Put your hand up here, too. You got blessed hands. Father, bless every giver. Rebuke the enemy off of every giver. Every little shot. Rebuke him, Lord. You said your promise. You will rebuke the enemy and open up the windows of heaven. Pour us out blessings that we will not have room enough to receive. So pour us out blessings that we won't have room enough to receive in Jesus' name. Amen. I know Evangelist will take care of that when she comes. She's our, uh, our trustee. She and uh, Sherry Gray. Amen. You all ready for the word? I have a very tasty word on today. Amen. I mean, it's, it's actually, now it's a word that I taught like in 2020. Amen. But the Lord said, get some pointers out of it and bring it for today. But I taught this word on May 3rd, 2020. Amen. That was when... I was doing the whole services right on my at my piano. Amen. So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you, God, that this word will go uh, unhindered. It will go forth in victory. It will go forth, Lord, in our hearts. 
Your word said that when we get the word, we'll bring forth fruit. Some 30, some 60, some 1,000. No, 30, 60, and 100 fold. Amen. But we believe for our giving 1,000 for a return, Lord. We believe that you'll open up the windows of heaven, pour us out blessings, and we won't have enough room to receive for our giving. But, Lord, this word that's going on in our heart, let this word, Lord, penetrate our heart and let it bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Those of you who have your Bibles, let's turn to Isaiah. Get mine out right quick. Isaiah 54. And 17 is a familiar scripture, amen. It's one that you should constantly quote. Isaiah 54, 17. Hallelujah. 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 We all know this. It says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Now notice it didn't say no weapon would ever be formed. The devil's going to do his job. We know that as a child of God. God's going to do his job too when we allow him. Amen? But it say, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And in righteousness is of me. Now that's, look, this is saying so much. We could just read this and say, okay, let's dismiss First of all, weapons, we're going to talk about what weapons are. That's the devil's job, to form weapons, make you uncomfortable, and et cetera, et cetera. But the Lord is giving us a promise that every tongue, even people can wag their tongue to try to hurt you. But it say every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you're going to condemn. You condemn it. And the tongue, not only on a person's body, it could be tongue of sickness trying to come against you. You don't have to accept it. No, I bind it. I condemn it. Every book shot in the name of Jesus. And I speak the healing promise over my body that with his stripes I am healed. I speak the healing promise. He was wounded for my transgression, bruised for my iniquity. Test I my peace upon him with his stripes I am healed. I was healed. It said, every tongue you shall condemn. Hallelujah. Because why? He said, this is your heritage. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. We, listen, we are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Amen. All of the blessings belong to us. Abraham's blessings are ours. But Jesus Christ said he delivered us from the curse of the law. And that's a different lesson. Amen. Galatians talk about we are we are redeemed from the curse of the law. That's our heritage. It says this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Their righteousness is of me. We get it. We're not giving anybody a sin ticket. But it says that this was way even before grace. Their righteousness is of me. Do you know Jesus Christ became sin for us? Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God. And I know people say, well, my God, he's acting like the devil himself. He can't be righteous. He's got to grow. Whoever that is, you know, I know. There all of us know people like that, right? Name the name of Jesus, but you see a little more. <laughs> you know, they have to grow. Just like certain areas, we have to grow. Come on, don't exempt ourselves. But in the kingdom of God... We have God's righteousness. That's why when we come to him, we don't come, oh, I'm coming in the name, in my own name. No, we come in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ suffered. He paid the price. He was the perfect sacrifice. So the word again says, Jesus, who knew no sin, he became sin on the cross. That's why people say, why did, why did God say, why did Jesus say, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God had to turn his head away. Because he was sin. He didn't sin fall, but he became sin for us. He knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness. So we're in right standing with God. And even Isaiah caught on to it. He said, your righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So now you got that established. Because the devil will try to come and bombard you with past mistakes. Past, remember you did this. 
you tell them no, it's up under the blood. And there's no fishing. <laughs> Amen. It's up under the blood of Jesus. It's gone to the lake of forgiveness. And last time I checked, there is no fishing. Can I get an amen? Amen. Now, hallelujah. So let's just look into this a little bit more. Uh, the title is, No Weapon That's Formed Against Me Shall Prosper. There's a subtitle. Everything is going to be all right. You just got to believe it. Don't talk yourself out of your blessings. Amen. No weapon that shall, uh, that's, uh, that, that's formed against me shall prosper. God bless you, Vandas. The offering is waiting on you. Prosper means to succeed, flourish, or grow strong. So whatever the devil is trying to do, it's not going to prosper. And that um, the money in there is Andre's. It's not going to prosper. Amen. Not at all. It's not going to flourish. not going to prosper. It means nada. God bless you, Pastor Sarah. Evangelist Derek. Amen. So we're talking about it won't prosper. You know, the devil will try to be strong and come against you up uh, in your life. But he doesn't. He don't have any powers over you. Hallelujah. So let's talk about what is a weapon. A weapon is a thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physical damage. Used to defeat, injure, or destroy. A weapon is not a joke. Amen. You know, in the world they say they got weapons of what? Mass destruction? Amen. But this, this, I love this bishop years ago. He said, like the book of Acts, A-C-T-S, take it for you and say it is, let's see, what is it? Um, active Christians terrorizing Satan. You have all power on the inside of you. In, in the, the truth of the matter, the devil is scared of you. You said, what? Yes, he is. Because, look, you got like atomic you got atomic, you got, you have atomic weaponry up on the inside. Well, what is that atomic, like atomic bomb? We're not talking about the natural. Get out the natural. Come on, get in the nat Get in the spiritual. Get out of carnality. Get in the spiritual. Come on, walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. You got Jesus. Woo. He disarmed principalities and power. He ain't made to show them openly. He's on the inside of you, and he is still fighting for you. Truth of the matter, the battle has already been won. You are already healed. You are already victorious. It's already done. Praise breaking every night. VIPs, child, we shout. We get buck wild praise. Probably angel get buck wild praise. Barry and Sarah get buck wild praise. We go wild in the Lord because we know it's already done. And buck wild, we say praise the Lord. Release buck wild blessing. Blessings that are not making sense to anybody. And you say, how she do that? Jesus. How did he do that? Jesus. But no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So a weapon is a thing designed to use for inflicting bodily harm, physical damage, use to defeat, injure, or destroy. A weapon is not a joke. And if you don't have the right armor on... The enemy can penetrate. But you don't have to be afraid. I'm not trying to pump fear. Oh, I'm scared. No. God is not giving us fear of fear, but he's giving us power, love, and a sound mind. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. All right. Now, in the natural, Pastor Sarah, some examples of weapons are bombs, guns, machine guns, missiles, nerve gas, pistol, swords. Tear gas, poison, etc. These sound so terrible because they are terrible. Things that come against you, it, that's what a weapon is to make you question your faith, question God, doubt God, hurt you to the core. Those are all weapons. Amen. But I got some good news. No weapon is strong enough to hurt and harm the people of God if you stay in Jesus. Now, if you wiggle and pedangle your way out of Jesus, don't you blame God. Amen. You decide to go on the other side, playing around with pet devils, doing this, doing that, and you get from under the covering of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is not a guarantee for you, amen? Right. That's why you got to stay uh, close to the Lord. He gives his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. But in Psalm 91, he said, he that dwelleth. That's right. Habitation. Do you know God inhabits? The praise of his people. Yeah. He that dwell, not 
oh, I'm here, I'm in, I'm out. Here today, God, no. Constantly, yes. constantly keeping God close to you. You stand, stand close to the Lord. Amen? Amen. So that's the good news. No weapon is strong enough to harm the people of God. And you got to know what your portion is. If the devil trying to come along, you know good and well, as saints of God, and I'm going to put it in natural, we deserve the finest. You know, steaks, filet mignon, and yeah. and just the, the top notch. You know, those that like meat, you know, uh, the, the, the finest of the wheat. Right. But the devil trying to serve you some dog food, My and I'm talking about <laughs> trying to put stuff on you, you know, it's not making sense. Yeah. Your mama didn't even experience that. What you look like taking it. Stop taking a jump off the enemy. Pray in the spirit until it's broken. All right. That's all of us. Woo! And I'm just about finished. Amen. Isaiah 54, 17. We read that already. No weapon is strong enough to hurt you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to finish this up the next time I preach. Amen. This is a good, good reminder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in John 10 and 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. This is Jesus. He, he come to take your health. He come to take your liveliness. He come to take your joy. Amen? That's the first thing the enemy try to come. I always say we all have a joy tank. He try to punch holes in the joy tank. Amen? So your joy can just run on out. But the devil is a liar. He's a liar. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He could have said, oh, well, so sad, too bad. But he said, no, nope, I come to give you life. He could have stopped there. And then, but he said, life more abundantly to the fullness. Hallelujah. 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 So Jesus, he said and Lord, I receive it. I receive your life, and I receive life more abundantly. That's why God gave us the name of this church. Exciting life. Yes. How you look like, if you're up under exciting life, living an old dog, mundane life, yes. no? And if you are, it's okay. Say, Lord, come on now. I want to I wanna, I wanna live an exciting life. Amen. And it's not all physical. It's spiritual. Your connection with the Lord. That joy bubbling, not only on, only on the inside, but bubbling over. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So he said, I come to give you life and that to the fullest. So anything that is against life abundantly is a weapon from the enemy. And don't think the devil... He tried Jesus. Come on. He tried to tempt Jesus. But Jesus was on a 40-day fast. He said, hey, why don't you bow down to me? Come on. I'll give you this whole world. And he showed the glitz and the glamour. I mean, unfortunately, not all, but a lot of people have sold their souls to the Lord. What would it, what would it profit to gain this whole world and lose your soul? That's it. What, what is that word? That's Some people do anything to, to get, like they say, oh, get over. Amen. Jesus was tempted. The devil said, all you got to do is bow down to me. And you got, you going to have your child, you're going to be on top. Just rephrase it. You're going you gonna to be the star of this world. You'll be the greatest person ever. And Jesus said, no. I worship, it is written, we worship the Lord and him only. He said, well, why don't you turn this bread into stone? Because I, this stone into bread, I know you're hungry. He said, no, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he didn't succumb to his um, shenanigans. I'm going to give one more point, and then we're going to um, close out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus wants, you got to know the will of the Father. He wants you to be happy. He don't want you to be all miserable, all grouchy, all mean. And like they said, the pastor said, I've heard people say, and that's not kingdom mentality. Hurt, people hurt. That's worldly. That's cardinality. You hurting, so I'm miserable. I'll make somebody else miserable. I'm hurt. No. God's way is, okay, if I hurt, I, ooh, I don't want nobody else going through that. 
and it's a total difference. You live in either kingdom life, you're on the, the God side or the devil side. Amen. And this, we everybody in here, we know you're on God's side. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to get his last scripture. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 should be a script that we all are fist, festering and feasting. And that is, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he's given us power, love, and a sound mind. You know, the world, you know, I, and I do like to watch, you know, documentaries, Christian documentaries, and sometimes secular. But the thing that they both have in common is that they're saying, oh, my God. In this year, 2023, there are so many people dealing with mental issues. And we know it is real because people can get sick physically and people can get sick mentally. Amen. We know it's real. We're not putting it down. But then do what you need to do. Go to your therapist, your clinician, psychiatrist. Nothing wrong with that. You, God gave these people the wisdom. That's right. Amen. To help. But don't neglect going to God. He's the Prince of Peace. I was listening to some, some program, and they would say, oh, you know, to get rid of stress and get peace. They named everything but Jesus. Jesus said, I'm the Prince of Peace. You go everywhere looking for peace. Go to Jesus. Go to the source. So 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, For God has not given us spirit of fear, power, but power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. Don't entertain fear. Condemn the tongue of fear. And fear will come upon all of us. You know, especially, you know, I use myself as an example. I've been really, really, but a good busyness lately, you know, and sometimes as a pastor, you, you have, you know, you've been invited to maybe give a sermon or today I will be conducting a Nietzsche ceremony. God bless Nietzsche and William. You know, so a little fear trying to like creep in. I said, wait a minute. No. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but I have power, love, and the sound of mind. I still feel that little nervous the devil, you're a liar. God has not given me the spirit of fear, power, love, and sound of mind. Then you notice it gets better, Pastor Sarah. Right. Then it's, all of a sudden it's gone. That's right. And that could be anything. One day you could just wake up. You know, maybe it's a bill due. Yeah. Amen. And all of a sudden, you know, you're spilling the spirit of fear. Don't accept what the enemy is trying to put on you. Rebuke it, bind it, and get it away from you. Amen. So you don't entertain fear. You condemn the tongue of fear. Amen. Fear is a cousin of worry, anxiety. And some people have more of a natural worry. They're, they're born like that. But I don't mean you just, look, get that worry and get some scripture. See, whip that worry up with scripture. Hallelujah. And I would say worry, anxiety, they're relatives to fear. Hallelujah. And this scripture that's going to help with that, Psalm 91 5 says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. And that's Psalm 91. Make sure you read Psalms 91 every day. We will continue part two the next time. Do y'all get anything out of here? Amen. Amen. You know, that's the devil's job. You know, some people say, well, why this happened? The devil. I have people, especially younger people, well, this person's so innocent. Why, why did that happen? It's a fallen world. So what you going to do? You fight back. And you keep saying, no weapon that's formed against me, it will not prosper. Amen. And right now, we want to lead everybody uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Every head is bowed. Every tongue uh, is going to confess Jesus. <laughs> every head is bowed. Every eye is closed. Romans 10 and 9 says that if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. You say, is that simple? Yes. And you will be born again. Your name will be written in the last book of life. Pray this prayer, Father. Wow. In the name of Jesus, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died on the cross just for me. They put him in a grave. He's no longer there because he has a risen. He's alive right now. Come on, every man, woman, boy, girl, pray this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, come in my heart. Save me. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash away all my sins with the blood of Jesus. 
Amen. Lord, do something special with my life. Lord, I thank you. You are my master. You are my Lord. You are the director of my life and my Savior. In Jesus' name, thank you. I'm clean. My sins are all washed away. And the stains of sin are washed away as well. In Jesus' name. And thank you, Lord, once again. I'm born again. And my name is written in the last book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now let me just say this. What's the next step? Welcome to the body of Christ. Get in a good body of believing in church. Get in a church that believes that Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. Get in a church that believes that Jesus Christ is yet a miracle worker. He is yet the key of kings, the Lord of Lords, the almighty God, the everlasting Father, the ruler of the nations in Jesus' precious name. And we're going to have our announcements. Church services are 2.30 p.m., on Sunday, 6 o'clock on Tuesdays, we began with really continuing a study in Colossians. Come out and get strengthened and refreshed as we study God's Word together. We always have a good time. A site like daycare will be opening soon. For questions, see the daycare director, Evangelist Sarah Bell. Congratulations today to our teachers at Williams. Let's give them a hand. And that's where we're going to all head to. Um, their wedding. I will be officiating it on getting married today, June 11, 2023. We will be attending their wedding right after church today. Congratulations to Sherry Gray on graduating from Wayne County Community College. Congratulations to Samia Elliott graduating from Cass Tech High School. Congratulations to Anaya Elliott from being, being promoted to high school from Bates Academy. Your daughter graduated this year too, right? What's her name? Charity. Amen. Yeah. Hey, Congratulations. Because I know Charity and Samia are the same. And she graduated from? University Preparatory. Woo! University Preparatory. Yeah. And she's going to? Grand, Grand Valley State. Grand Valley State. That's Evangelist, uh, Evangelist yeah. Derek's daughter. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Sarah's daughter. Amen. Woo, woo, woo. So we got, and there be, you know, you all make sure we get all the names. Yes. Amen. So we are definitely going, a, uh, ELCC will be having a recognition ceremony soon to honor uh, ELCC members and supporters. Amen. And you know, uh, Evangelist Sarah, we, we're going to make up a, a, a nice presentation for her, make it up, because she graduated during the pandemic. So she didn't get a chance to walk across the stage, but the sign life is going to remember her as well. She had her master's degree, um, cert certification, that's what she had, certification in educational leadership. So kudos to all, everybody. Uh, Sherry Gray will be a sign life Christian Center youth speaker next Sunday. So everybody come out. June the 18th, let's come out and support her. Also, please be prepared to bring her and. Bless her with an offering. Watch Darlene and Sarah Gospel Spectacular TV show aired at the following times. Comcast Cable, Sundays, East Oakland, Macomb County, 8 o'clock a.m., Channel 90, Detroit, 6.30 p.m., Channel 20, Amen. Daily on BGN TV Gospel. Again, East Oakland, Macomb County, 8 o'clock a.m., Channel 90. Detroit, 6.30 p.m., Channel 20. Daily on BGN TV Gospel. That's Bell Global Network. Tune on Wednesdays, the Sight Life Radio Show, live on WMKM, 1440 a.m., or www.gospel1440.com. 7.30 with Pastors Darlene and Sarah, Evangelist Derek, and youth speaker, Dre Bell Rock. Amen. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Join me nightly, Pastor Darlene Bell, 9.30 for a five-minute praise break with the VIPs. Very, very, very intense praises. Oh, we have a good time. Hallelujah. On Facebook Live, just go to Darlene Bell page. Parentheses is Pastor Darlene Bell. Bring your shouting shoes. Moreover, please let Pastor Darlene know if you would like to be a third Sunday youth speaker. The following months are following months are as follows. June, which will be next Sunday, Sherry Gray. July, Andre Greenlee. August, J.B.L. Rock. 
September, Minister Anitris Norman Williams. October, Evangelist Sarah Bell. November and December are available. So just all you got to do is let me know, and we'll gladly put you down. Amen. On four Sundays, ELCC will have ELCC Business Share Day, whereby we got a lot of business owners up here. I know, uh, Evangelist, you, you do bow ties and stuff. Tay has a business. And each, it, it, everybody here just got businesses. On four Sundays, you come and share the name of your business, what it entails, how to contact you. Happy birthday to June babies, Jordan Bradley the first, Tiffany the eighth, Anaya the twenty eighth. June birthday. Any more June birthdays? Amen. Well, happy birthday, June birthdays. We're getting ready to dismiss because we're gonna get to this wedding on time. Amen. Pastor, did you want to say anything before we go? Okay. Well, let's stand. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for well-spent Sunday afternoon service. It was so good. The praise and worship, God bless you, uh, Dre Bell Rock. We just, we entered the heavy praise. Uh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you for the word that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Everything's going to be all right. Thank you, Lord, for evangelists. Uh, Derek and Pastor Sarah pressing their way out. Hallelujah. So, Lord, thank you for being back. Sarah, Dre Bell, Ron, you all lift your hands up. Lord, do something special for Pastor Sarah. Do something special for Evangelist Derek. Do something special for Dre Bell, Ron. Do something special for Evangelist Sarah. Lord, all those online, do something special for Prophetess Angel. Do something special for Sheila Washington. Thank you all again for your giving. Do something special for Pastor Jason Ramsey. Lord, thank you. Do something special for Pastor Ryan Todd and... Uh, Bradley that was on there, everybody that was either here in person or online. The Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you in Jesus' name. Consider yourself dismissed. And God be gracious unto you. Yes, I receive that. Hey!